Hi, welcome to Earthside Food Cuisine, episode three. Today we're going to make a very, very special dish um, I call Continental Nachos. And uh, you know, as you, as you watch these episodes, you see that we are always trying to pay homage to many different cuisines, many different ways of life. There's a whole world out there and uh, you need to see it. You need to taste the different flavors, you need to smell the different odors, <laughs> you need to, <laughs> you need to uh, <laughs> see the different people and uh, have the different experiences. And uh, so continental nachos I really like because it kind of brings that all together. It's uh, as a friend of mine says, involve the world, conquer the world. And uh, you know, that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring the world to its uh, uh, metaphorical knees with these nachos. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hey. hey. What's Cowboy up? Dave. Cowboy Dave is here. Straight in from Sweden. Look oh, at these guns. guns. Uh oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> man, look at Jamie's all dressed oh, up. I got the work outfit. You doing, dude? What's up, Dave? Yeah. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Glad you made it. You guys made it just in time. Oh, did you guys make us both food? Because <laughs> I, thought, I thought David was going to be in on making it with you guys. You know why they're filming this, right? You know Earthside Food Cuisine? Yeah. You realize that we're about to You're, you're on the episode now. <laughs> I think we're both going to have to eat this. I'm guessing that they're trying to get us both. Have to be in the wait for 24 hours? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's, it's, you're, it's, you haven't eaten in a while, there. You probably need some food. The really, really nice thing about Continental Nachos is that, you know, a lot of meals are just kind of like, they're held hostage by a certain kind of time of day. It's like, oh, uh, you know, this is obviously breakfast. I can't have this for dinner. This is lunch. Like, I can't have this for breakfast. And the nice thing about Continental Nachos is that it's got so many elements of so many different meal times that it really allows you to be flexible. Like you can make this for dinner, you can uh, you can take it out, have it for breakfast the next day, you can have it as a 4 p.m. snack right before the gym. There's a lot of complex carbohydrates uh, and uh, you know like B vitamins. Um, so there's a lot you can do with it. Jamie is really gonna love this stuff. Um, these are all of his favorite ingredients. And that's the point of food cuisine, you know, it's gotta be stuff he likes. And this is all stuff he likes. Right, I'm about to pull it out of the oven. Oh, wait, wait, okay. And we're back with Earthside Food Cuisine. I'm gonna take the, uh, the nachos out of the microwave. Oh, and look how melty, wait. look how melty some of that cheese is. This looks pretty good, right? Nachos. We know you like nachos. Jamie loves so we nachos. Got some, these are some crisp Something nachos. smells not good though. Something. Well, this Asiago cheese. It's a sharp Italian cheese. It's quite tasty though. It's strong. But it's you, good. You've it had it. Kind you of like it. Got avocado. Mm -hmm. And we have um, uh, some diced onion. We're really getting into that chopping. Do the blast meat chop. That's really efficient. I think I saw some <laughs> onion fly in that basket over there. Uh, this is a maple syrup and cinnamon sour cream. Far away part of the world from our last kind of fusion of Italian and uh, Mexican. This is, so this is kind of a traditional uh, Russian item. Uh, in Russia they have kind of a dessert sauce called Romanov sauce. And it's, uh, you don't often think of using sour cream in a dessert context, uh, but here we are. We're using um, sour cream, it, th that traditional dish is sour cream, cinnamon, and sugar. And we're giving it kind of an American twist because we're real American. So we're going to actually use, uh, you know, real, no high fructose corn syrup, uh, log cabin syrup. <laughs> and uh, just going to kind of drizzle that on. And this is going to be a really, like, nice, sweet cream. Wait, can, you, can you tell us what the first ingredient is on uh, um, log cabin? corn syrup. It's not high fructose corn syrup though. Um, and I really like Log Cabin brand because uh, they have that wonderful sodium hexametaphosphate. 
People, that's a really underused kind of asset in the kitchen. It just, it adds such a nice kind of preservative -y kind of taste to it. You know, it, it kind of, it has that flavor. It preserves the flavor. Preserves the flavor. It has that kind of taste, like post-apocalyptic taste to it a little bit. Like, it could survive nuclear fallout and you could still eat it. Just gonna give that a taste. A little more. Not quite tasting the hexametaphosphate. And this is a unique creation. <laughs> this, um, so this is, these are refried beans, but these are not any refried beans. These are balsamic craisin refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> Got crazies. <laughs> one time he ate a whole family size bag of craisins in one city. Um, we sometimes call these crazies. Um, you probably feel a little bit crazy if you eat a whole bag of them. Nice clean mash everywhere around, just like as, as you would mashed potatoes or mashed carrots or mashed cauliflower um, or mashed broccoli. You know, you can all, they're all mashed the same way. And they don't have to be craisins. They can be, you know, a different brand. Um, but craisins are just, they're, they're really good. Um, we obviously like craisins. And uh, you can do a lot with craisins. You can kind of work them into your balsamic bean refried substance. All right, look at Ben scooping that out. Like a pro. Get some on That there. looks good. All right. Yeah. Preparations. Perfectly placed. Preparation is H. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the real, this is the real topper. So we made you a fresh out of the can, but spruced up new salsa creation. Okay. Great color contrast, that's what we're all about. You don't just eat with your mouth, you eat with your eyes, you eat with your ears, uh, you eat with your mouth. Um, so I'm working in that banana, looks good. Um, next thing I'm gonna add is, uh, and this is, because our producer David is coming in, this is kind of a Swedish twist, I'm adding some curry powder. And that, that sounds crazy, I'm sure, because, you know, Okay, curry powder, Swedish, what? Uh, well, his name, his last name is Castillo, so, you know, that doesn't make any sense either. So this is a uh, banana, mm -hmm. <laughs> curry powder, mm -hmm. and Christian Brothers infused salsa. <laughs> I'm sure the people watching this have been told about yes, Christian they, Brothers. They yeah. Do they know about our Christian Brothers nights? As a band, we are, gotta be here we are all about Christian Brothers. If you haven't... It's like being brothers. Yeah, it's, it's like, like family. It's like, it makes you like family. When you drink this, you're like family, even if you're not related. Um, it really is, you know, I've had a couple, maybe one or two other brandies in my life, but this one was really the one that had just that bite to it that, uh, you know, I, I've never tasted anything that has the bite that this yeah, has. I mean, look, we even have an original. We have an original. I think that was made before I was born. Um, we found it in my parents' liquor cabinet after they were trying to clear it out. Look at this right here. Doesn't this look amazing? Wow. Right, so we're going to bring this to the table and I'll get you guys each a plate. You want to get something to wash that down with? You know, just to, more for like the lubrications than not, not to, you know. Not because I would want to. I want to save oh, it. You're gonna try that. You're gonna love Christian Brothers. <laughs> Actually, Christian Brothers by itself might be about the best chaser ever. <laughs> this is as much Mexican as Castillo is Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> do you uh, you want me to do the honors of going first? Yeah. Or? You just gotta, you know, like take a nacho, like make sure you get a little bit of everything on there. Yeah, you know. get, it's like like the everything bagel of nachos. Yeah. You went for the clean one, your <laughs> asshole. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to get some avocado on there because yeah. you know I love avocado. Oh, yeah. avocado. Get some of the avocado grains of the balsamic earth. Balsamic beans. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's some craisins in there. It's if, hard to get all of them. More, in I can bring bite. over more salsa too if you like that. There, I'll, I'll make you have some more salsa. <laughs> I don't think I have much cheese on this plate. This is not going to be as dramatic as the birthday cake. I mean. <laughs> The buffalo chicken <laughs> blue cheese inside the cake. A little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the first bite. I gotta work yeah, my way into I it. Know. I wanna make sure, like, this is really the star ingredient. I wanna make sure. You think you... so? Make, make sure you. The best way to always. The Christian Brothers is in the salsa? Yep. To give it a sniff test? <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna like this. Yeah, I, that's I'm, gonna be yeah, the no, I, Actually, the thing is, 
Asiago cheese, I don't actually like that much. I'm actually most afraid of just not liking Asiago cheese and nachos more as much as the cheddar. Yeah. But, you know, it's kind of like Parmesan has that strong. Uh, I mean, we wanted to go with a pungent cheese that we yeah. made. Really accentuate some yeah. flavors. Get, get your mouth, you know, uh, I kinda opened up. It to gen production. Like all the volume levels are really loud. And everybody's just fighting. For the everything's same fighting for the same. Thing. So it's like a palate obliterator rather than a palate cleanser. <laughs> These are continental nachos. So. Okay. Well, look at this beautiful Jamie. It's ready. To I'm really not hungry. <laughs> I was like looking forward to like going to the bathroom and now I'm at the <laughs> This will make you go to the bathroom. <laughs> this will add to it. All right. Here we go. I'm losing <laughs> ingredients right before your guys' eyes. I don't think I remember what everything is, but I kind of think it's better that way. Where I like, don't remember what combinations. All right, I'll, I'll start with just the easy going. A little salsa, a little cheese, a little bit of, the, is it the cinnamon sour cream? Cinnamon and what else? Maple, Maple syrup. syrup. Uh -huh. like All right, let's syrup. try a little bit of that. Kind of sweet then. Yeah. So overall, the toughest part is, yeah, sort of combining the Asiago cheese with that sort of sweeter sauce. That's a little extra <laughs> sweet and savory for you. Yeah, finger licking good, man. So far, I can handle this. All right, this is the bite that'll be, I think if I get through this one, this'll be like, you guys didn't win. Mm. To be fair, you didn't try to destroy me as much as you did with the birthday cake. That was just mean. This is this is reasonable. This is yeah. possible. We try to split the difference. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. I think it's more that I'm just like afraid of knowing what all these things are, when they combine, what that's gonna be like. And it's all the, the ratio of chip to ingredient is like this is a very this is a very saucy chip. Hmm. I'll bring it on. You sure you don't want any? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of good. Bullshit. Oh wait, I thought he moved his plate away because he... No, I, I moved my plate towards me. I was like moving this plate away like, bring it up. This is good. Yeah, oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were laughing at me liking it. You were laughing because you, I thought I, you thought I hated no, it. No, you're like, it's great, and then you just like push the. <laughs> oh. You've been getting some of the crazy beans, crazies beans. Maybe not enough. Yeah, you gotta get some of those crazies beans. Like it's tough with nachos, especially with this many toppings. To, you know, there's always so much that can fit on one chip. You know. <laughs> just gotta clean all the specks. And everything. Yeah. <laughs> every every nacho is a little bit of a different experience. You know? They're all snowflake. You're just getting avocado and chip. You can't. <laughs> I just what happened to be on that one. I don't believe you that you like it unless you're getting all the goods. <laughs> I've, got, I've had all the, the first big chip I had had everything. Everything. Fine. You don't believe me? <laughs> Chef Shamron, make your chip of doom. Me. Yeah. I'll customize it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you made a mistake. Come on, Chef. Let's see what you got. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm zoomed in here. Okay. <laughs> Dave's going for some. So no avocado on this chip, in other words. Oof. Okay. <laughs> this is the chip you'd like me to taste. I think that's the <laughs> chip. Wait, should yeah. we sprinkle some fresh Asiago on top I of just, it? I just, I put a piece right there. All right. I will admit this chip does look a little bit more intimidating than some of the others I've had. No avocado to save me, it's true. A lot of Christian brothers in there. <laughs> yeah, I tried it the first time and there was just not enough. There's also a fair amount of banana and the banana kind of throws me off because I keep thinking you, it's corn. Do you want to add some Christian brothers on top? Just Pour it right from the bottle. <laughs> Are you I sure you, you want to do that? <laughs> I don't want to contaminate the other nachos, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just a drizzle. A garnish. A little garnish. I have cilantro too, if you like cilantro. I do love cilantro. Oh, wait, then hold on. <laughs> oh, that's just a lot of sauce. Very saucy. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> look how he has to lick his fingers. It's an intense look on your face, Jay. It's determination right there. I'm just looking you right in the eye as I say, Troy, I've devoured your creation. There's a whole lot more creation left. <laughs> you devour as much of it as you like. That one had a lot of Asiago cheese. That's the only thing it's, I'm having a tough time with. The thing that's most normal is the thing I'm struggling with. <laughs> that's one of the most pungent cheeses that's readily yeah. available. Does, does the Christian Brothers, is, is that not like part of the taste? I don't know. Maybe it helps mask other things, I don't know. I haven't made one face, so that's like that. I, I that might be, slumber. I might be more scared of this than actually. <laughs> you guys want to try some? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I might like knock that stuff off the top and go for just some of the Asiago and chips underneath. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin Dave. Well, you're, you're missing out on the best part because I like the stuff up top the best. I, know, I, I think the stuff you guys, the original sauces you guys made. I mean, you guys can bottle it. You know the. I mean, I think refried craisin beans. I mean, that, that's <laughs> with that's balsamic. Yeah, with, with balsamic. Maybe you didn't put enough balsamic in the beans. I think people will go craisin for it. And, and, <laughs> 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 and the cilantro was a nice garnish. I was good. I think that added to it for sure. And you I like, think I think the Christian Brothers. Wait, what else is it? Christian Brothers and what Christian salsa? Christian Brothers. And banana. Banana and. Uh, I think there's an element like. You know what, guys? Guys, hold on. Hold on. Nothing says nachos. Ben, I think we forgot something here. Oh, 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 did we? Nothing says nachos like fresh tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you need to try sure? one with uh, tomato sauce. In addition to these. No, yeah. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't gotten me yet. I mean, episode two, you crushed me. <laughs> but right, right now. Without Dijon mustard. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And tomato sauce. You add those two together. Alright, Frank, you wanna make the next Dijon tomato. Hold on, David, you gotta hold this. Nacho of doom. Alright, I think All right. I think we missed out on some key ingredients here. Ben and I You guys were creative though. You guys right. made us some cool things. I just kinda like them though. <laughs> I like the salsa. The salsa's good. The, the cinnamon, maple syrup, sour cream, I actually think it's delicious. <laughs> actually, actually, can I, can I, just, can I just try a little bit of this? Just kind of, I'm gonna isolate these flavors. By the way, this is, when we say food cuisine, we like use it as terminology, like Jamie will food cuisine. It's a verb, so. food cuisine as a duo. Right. I think we messed up. Just a little on that one. I think this is need... phenomenal. It's a... <laughs> this is great. And then this right. also, hold on. I'm just gonna try these things individually. I wanna know what each right. of these things are. I think this is gonna be good. The sauce is great. Christian. <laughs> 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 and, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to do these things individually. And here's the balsamic, balsamic, craisins, <laughs> refried beans. The sauce is great. <laughs> They're all good. They're all, They're all good. good. You, <laughs> They're all good. The refried beans. It's exquisite. It's exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the master of balsamic. <laughs> oh. This nacho is going to be horrible. This is going to be awful. It looks like, this is it looks like a hot dog dog. <laughs> yeah. This is going to suck. This I am afraid of. This I am going to freak out at. Oh. And this chip is so soggy. We, we I think messed, I need to... We messed up before. We just need to right or wrong. Where you, we make our recipe. But, but, no, but you guys, were, I won't say you messed up because those were more creative. This is just brute force. Tomato sauce and mustard right out of the... Right? Whereas the sauces you guys made were actually kind of creative and good. But can I get avocado on this chip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Piece right there. All right, because this, this chip is kind of falling apart, so I got to structurally hold it together with two. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh, tomato sauce and Dijon mustard. I mean, Dijon mustard, that's a lot of Dijon mustard. Like, I don't think I could eat that much Dijon mustard on a hot dog. Like, that's a little too much. Guy, do I have to eat all that Dijon mustard? Maybe wipe a little off. Yeah, that's like, I'm eating this like it's queso or something. You know? I mean, woo! Oh, yeah, man. I think let's 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 simmer down a little bit. Here we go. This is manageable. It's clearly a lot of mustard and tomato sauce stuff. 
But you need everything else, too. Frank, <laughs> I need to be able to really enjoy the flavors, you know. <laughs> wow. That's so much mustard. <laughs> okay. It's got to cut the mustard, man. <laughs> I still win though. You got this. It doesn't count. This is overtime. <laughs> but I already got the official win. This is like an exhibition game overtime. Um, mm, right, the gag reflex is kicking in before, kind of like with the birthday cake, where I'm already preparing. Just like we nope, have to watch don't. That with David. <laughs> You guys are gonna go up to me now. It's <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> you do something wrong, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Alright, I'm going to round two. Mustard and tomato sauce. Seriously? Oh yeah. Get mm. extra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can wash that down with some of the maple sour cream. Good idea. <laughs> That's okay, all right, yours. Right off the spoon. May oh, I? no, don't. No. May, I? May I? Yeah. Oh. This, this cinnamon, cinnamon maple syrup uh, sour cream. <laughs> Jamie wants that bottle. I think I want to call this Shanbrom Zone. This salsa, though, I mean, Christian Brothers needs to go into brandy salsa. I mean, that's... <laughs> well, I mean, Christian Brothers is fantastic. Is we universal. love Christian Brothers. Uh, we're not endorsed by Christian Brothers yet, <laughs> but uh, we are working on that. Christian Brothers is endorsed by us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy and refried beans, dude. Awesome. These two that they brought in at the How end, these were maybe the worst of all. How could I have but, forgotten to put mustard on that? But they're, but they're elaborate. Yeah, come on. These guys' elaborate creations, actually pretty tasty. I think I, I'm, I feel bad for you guys out there in YouTube world <laughs> that didn't get to try cinnamon maple syrup sour cream right off the spoon. No, don't you eat that. <laughs> or the Christian Brothers banana salsa. Very good. The refried beans. I mean, I'm, I want to know how you guys are prepared all these. I can make these for myself. <laughs> you can watch the video of me getting the refried beans out of the can. <laughs> all right. Look at that just coming right. I think we've concluded. All right. I think I think I'm two and one. All Episode right. three. Ben's Guitar Clinic. Improving your skills. So this is what it sounds like slow. And this is what it sounds like fast. So slow again. Fast. So you just gotta kinda practice that. You'll be able to get from the slow level to the fast level. Uh, in no time. <laughs> it's like a Kurt Schneider move, right? Yeah. You can watch episode yeah, guys, two right, right here. <laughs> in episode one, All right. right there. All right.